Hi everyone, today's video is going to be another monthly makeup routine. If you already subscribe to my channel then you'll know what this is all about, but if you are new, hello, welcome. I do these videos every month and I'm basically just running through a makeup routine that I'm loving at the moment. They're normally very simple, nothing too fancy or special, just the makeup I like wearing, but actually saying that, this month there is a little bit of colour on the eyes which is exciting. If you are new don't forget to subscribe, it's free and then you will know when I upload new videos which is three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Right, enough of the waffle, I'm going to get into the makeup routine, I am bare faced and I'm going to start with a serum. This is from Chanel and it's their Hydro Beauty Micro Serum. I haven't been using this loads but I went to a Chanel launch yesterday and Mary Greenwell who is an amazing makeup artist used this before every single makeup look and it just added such a boost of hydration. This The model's skin instantly looked so glowy and fresh. Mary Greenwell is hilarious. She basically, she doesn't use any brushes and she just like slaps the model's faces to get everything on. But it works. I think it really kind of makes a circulation and your, their skin just looks so glowing. So it's a very like wet serum which makes it really nice as a base under foundation. Okay so serum on and I'm now going to use a foundation. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation. I've been using this all month I think. If you look in the description boxes of my videos where I always list what I'm wearing and what I'm talking about, this has pretty much been the foundation that I've worn in every single video. It's got really decent coverage but it has still got that kind of glow and freshness to it. And then I like to use my Bobbi Brown buffing brush to buff it right into the skin. It doesn't take that long to blend in. I tend to focus my foundation around the nose, kind of this part of the cheek area and chin. So that's the foundation done. I would seriously recommend this Burberry foundation. And now I'm going to use concealer. I'm still obsessed with the Urban Decay one. This is pretty much taken over from the NARS concealer. They're very similar, but the packaging on this is just so much better and easier to use. I really, really love it. So I just use the applicator to apply a bit under my eyes. I like to put a bit in the corners as well because I have a bit of darkness there. Around my nose where I have redness, a bit on my nose, and on my chin where I have these annoying spots that are like under the skin and won't come out. I'm just going to blend this in using my Real Techniques setting brush which is the best brush for concealer in my opinion. Such a good size. And then take the concealer under the eye. I try not to put too much on my lid so it doesn't make my eyeshadow crease but what's left I take over my eyelid because I have quite dark eyelids naturally. And then buff that all out. If you do get quite dark eyelids or you can see the veins on your eyelids just take a bit of concealer or you can use a kind of skin toned primer like the Urban Decay primer potion. Okay concealer done, I'm now going to use a little bit of powder just to set that all in place. Um, I don't always use powder but this concealer is quite creamy so I like to set it and I'm using this big brush but I'm desperate to get another one of the Bobbi Brown Sheer powder brush. I use that for blusher but I want another one to use for powder because this is a little bit too big, it makes me apply more than I need. But I just kind of tap it onto my chin, around my nose, centre of my forehead I always get shiny and then just I sweep it over and under my eyes where there's a lot of concealer. A lot of people do their eyes next. I like to do my face first. I'm not sure why, it's just a habit. So I'm just taking my Soap and Glory Solar Powder, which is my favorite bronzer. And I'm just gonna use that to bronze and contour. I'm just taking it up into the cheekbones, down to the neck and chin, up into the temples. Kind of work it into a three shape. So I always think of it like that. And that's kind of a good place to go for both bronze and contour, really. You don't have to be too neat. I am going to be doing green eyes today and when I wear green on my eyes my face tends to look quite pale so I do like to bronze up a little kind of extra when I'm doing green eyes. It's such a good bronzer to use for a contour as well because it's quite a cool toned bronzer so it's not too orange. Okay I have no idea why I now do eyebrows and then blush but it's just the order I like to do things. I'm going to be using my Anastasia, Anastasia? I never know how to say that, brow whiz. Um, I'm still loving it, the packaging is terrible, I should have put it in my um disappointing packaging video because the side of the pencil doesn't wind up properly and it keeps getting stuck. It did quite early on when I bought it. It really takes ages to wind up and sometimes it's not there at all, which is a little bit annoying but I can still kind of use it and I do really like the product. So I'm just filling in the gaps of my eyebrows, just a bit at the front and on the arch as well. I find that filling in the arch makes all the difference. I had the weirdest dream last night. Do you ever have it where you have such a strange dream that the whole day you, you don't know whether it's real or not? Although this one, I was pregnant, so it's definitely not real. 
It was a horrible dream, it was weird. After filling in my brows, I like to use a clear brow gel just to set them all in place. A lot of you probably see me do this a million times before, but I think if you're happy with products, why change them? Okay, now for blusher, I'm gonna use something new that I picked up on the weekend from Kiko. I think this is part of their new collection. I think it goes with that nice bronzer that I've used before, maybe in the last video. This is called the Mosaic Blush in New Sand Rose. So it's got that pretty like mosaic, like all different colours to it and it's a nice rosy brown but I'm going to use this because when I do green eyes I don't like to put too much colour on the cheeks and this is quite a nice, I mean it's not that light but it's a neutrally brown colour. I'm just going to use my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush, just apply that very lightly to my cheeks. I think that's a very pretty blush. I'm happy I picked that up. Okay, so let's go on to eyes. I'm going to be using MAC eyeshadows today. I've just put together this little quad because I didn't want to bring my whole palette down. In here is Nylon, which is a highlight colour. Patina, which is just the best shade in the world. I've like already hit the bottom of it. Cork and Green Smoke. So I think I'm going to use all of these, maybe not Nylon. I'm going to start with Patina. When I'm using a colour like green or dark brown, I don't like to take it all the way into the inside of the eye here. I think it's really heavy, it really drags down the eye, it just doesn't flatter my eye shape. So I like to use a base colour that's quite neutral and light all over the lid first, especially in the inner corner. I'm going to use Patina, it's a really nice, light, shimmery, cool tone brown. I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. I'm not using a primer because I'm not really going out anywhere. If I really wanted the makeup to last, I'd probably use a primer. So can you see, it's just like a cool toned, pretty brown. I'm going to apply a little bit more, because it is quite sheer in the first application. I like to use fluffy brushes to apply my product, because then you don't kind of pack on so much. It's a much lighter application, very kind of flowy and blendy. And that's kind of how I like my eyeshadow to be, unless I'm wearing uh, glitter or something that really needs packing on. Okay, I'm taking another fluffy brush, and this time I'm going to take... Green Smoke. Club is also a favourite green of mine, but it's got very dark brown undertones, so it's a much heavier evening look, whereas Green Smoke is a nice wearable green. It's great for the daytime. You'll see it's actually not that green, so if you want to try colour but you're a neutral girl and you're a bit scared, Green Smoke is a really good one. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on my brush. And then I'm going to apply that to the outer and middle part of the eye, so not going right into the centre, because that just doesn't flatter my eye shape. So it's got a really nice bronzy green tone to it. I love this eyeshadow. This was the eyeshadow look. Actually, I think it was the whole makeup look that I wore in the video I did with my mum. And quite a few of you asked for a tutorial, so hopefully you'll enjoy this. So you don't need to apply too much. You can always go back and build it up. I just think with eyeshadow, you need to have patience and think of it like a little painting. So that's the green done. I'm aware it looks quite messy. I haven't blended out the edges yet because what I'm going to do next is take another fluffy brush. This is why I have so many. And I'm going to take the shade Cork, which is a matte light brown. It's slightly kind of warm toned, which means it's got kind of orangey tones in it. I really like to have a brown in the crease. It makes it a bit more wearable. And I really love cork under the eye, so it kind of joins the whole look together. This fluffy brush from Zoeva is the 228 Luxe Crease, and it's slightly longer, so it's easier to use in the crease. To find the crease of your eye, it's just where your eye socket kind of goes in. So if you put the brush around there and just press in, but lightly, you can feel where the crease is and just apply the brown color to the outside in the crease. So it's just like a transition color. Could do that on both sides. And then I'm going to take my big Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush and just blend it all together. I have quite small eyelid space and big bushy brows, so I don't like it to be too high up towards my eyebrows. I like there to be a bit of space. So I'm just going to blend that and clean it up a bit. This is the best blending brush ever. And that's the kind of top of the eyelids. I think it looks very pretty. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and take that cork shade again under the eye. I always like to do this. I think it just flatters my eye shape. I look a bit bare without eyeshadow under my eye. This Zoeva brush, which is the 231 Lux Petite Crease, is really good for under the eye. I think it's a bit too firm for in the crease, but it's quite nice to blend the crease out once you've applied the shadow. So I haven't taken much under the eye, just a little bit to join it all together. And then I think I might take a little bit of nylon, actually. This is a real kind of bright highlight shade, but I like to take a little bit on my little finger and then just dab it in the inner corners of my eye and it really opens up and brightens your eye. I haven't done this in a long time, but I think it's really pretty. So a very small amount, I don't know if you can see that, 
just in the inner corner. It's very light reflective. It's a very pretty highlight shade. And that's the eyeshadow done. I am also going to apply a bit of eyeliner. I don't think you really need to, but I like wearing eyeliner. And I'm going to take a dark brown shade. This is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. Look how tiny it is. I've pretty much used up all of this pencil. These are so creamy and pigmented and smooth and easy to use. This is in the shade, oh I've nearly sharpened past the shade, I think it's black cocoa. I'm not going to take this all the way across the eyes, I think it's a bit too heavy. I'm just going to put a bit on the outside corner of the eye, very close to the lashes. This will just help thicken the eyelashes a bit. I'm putting it so close to the lashes that it's almost like I'm actually drawing onto the lashes. So I've just put a tiny bit on the outside, I don't know if you can see the difference but it just kind of lifts and opens my eyes, I think, especially if you keep it on the outside corner. I'm just going to curl my lashes quickly. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash. Um, I recently picked this up and I really like it, actually. It's quite similar to the Benefit Roller Lash. It doesn't give me a huge amount of volume, but it gives nice kind of separated lashes with a lot of length. And this isn't kind of a heavy makeup look. I'm not going out anywhere. So natural lashes are fine with me and yeah I think this is actually quite a good dupe for the benefit one. I'm just going to apply that to the lashes, it really kind of grips the lash as well with this little plastic brush. I don't think it's waterproof so if you need waterproof this probably isn't for you. They might do a waterproof version though. I'm just going to stroke it through the lashes from the root to the tip. Oh no! Oh I hate when that happens. Oh no! Alright, let's carry on with the mascara. I think the best way to avoid that is to take off the mascara on the tip of the brush, but that was just completely my fault. Okay, eyes are done, nice and green and smoky, and I'm just going to finish with a lipstick. I am obsessed with the new Chanel lipsticks. This is Adrian, which is my favourite shade. It's a really wearable nude. Before these came out, I was thinking that I am on the hunt for the best nude. I had no idea that I would find it in a Chanel lipstick, but this is just the perfect nude. I've been wearing it like every day this month. I'm completely obsessed with it. I will show you, they're very moisturising. My lips are really dry at the moment. I don't know why, but I've been having to go to bed with so much lip balm on. But these are really moisturising and easy to wear. It's very similar to my lip colour. Slightly lighter, really nice glossy. It just smooths everything out. They're so comfortable to wear, even the brighter shades, but this shade has literally been living in my handbag because it goes with everything. And I think with a green eye look especially, it's nice to wear a nude. I think if you were to wear a bright lip, it would be a bit too much. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing like a green smoky eye. I did ask on Twitter whether you wanted to see this look or a bluey purpley eyeliner look. And it was very much split down the middle, but I think a few more people wanted green smoky. So maybe next month I will do a look with this amazing blue Kiko eyeliner I have become obsessed with. I did a tweet showing a photo of me wearing it on the weekend. It's just like blue eyeliner under the eye. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that look maybe next month. And let me know what you think of this as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!